Hello guys, KP Shamino here and I finally made it to Colorado. I'm already level 13 but I just made it to Colorado and I'm fishing now for a couple of hours. And the first fish that I had was a rainbow trout. So I investigated a little bit, did some testing, what is the best place, what is the best lure, what is the best setup and all that stuff. And a couple of hours later I can present you guys this guide. So first of all I'm going to show you guys where you need to fish. I'm going to give some information about rainbow uh, trout from the wiki side because there was some stuff that I didn't know. Uh, so the best place to fish on rainbow uh, trout is uh, here. Fantastic fishing place. So just go to here. And the sweet spot is uh, what I think is over here. So you got a rock and it's like here. That is a sweet spot. So first I'm going to explain some things that I did today. So uh, first some info about the rainbow trout. So the rainbow trout, he lives, uh, he eats at the bottom. He likes cold water. So what I saw was that the best time to fish on a rainbow trout is at the morning and at the evening. At the midday my catching went a lot down compared to the morning and the evening because it's just a lot colder then. So therefore I think in the morning and in the evening I'm almost sure it's better to fish on that fish. So another thing that I saw was and don't go to the trout with uh, too high thickness in your line. So try to go with the mono if you uh, can handle it. Because the trout, the rainbow trout sees very good. So he can see your line. If it's too thick, he will see your line and your catching is going down. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys. I'm testing the whole day and I test a lot of lures. Uh, to just check out what was really good. So like you can see I tried to grub 7 centimeters with a jig head 9 gram, a narrow spoon, the spinners, all the spinners. I even tried the tube, but the tube was a little bit silly because you cannot catch a trout with it, so but it doesn't matter. So and my conclusion is like this. So you guys can see this is the whole day of fishing, like you can see. Uh, so I started this morning with the spinner. 4 gram and the catching went really well. I throw it in and the first uh, throw in I already have a catch so that was really good uh, and I was expecting that too to be honest because everything in this game what you buy with gold coins just work a little bit better than what you buy with the normal currency. Then I tried the gold spinner and I didn't saw a lot of difference. I tried the silver spinner just the same. Then I went to the narrow spoon 7 and it works really well too. I was a little bit surprised because I thought it was spinner paradise but the narrow spoon worked a little bit less than the spinner but it worked perfectly uh, too to catch the rainbow trout. Uh, the, the plastic fishes with the jig didn't work. I threw it like 20-30 times and uh, I didn't have one bite on it. So, yeah, that's not an option to use here. Uh, then I went in the mid days back to my spinner and then I catch it like uh, three trophy rainbow trouts too. So I think, in my opinion, that the spinner rainbow is the best here. So I didn't see something else that... Uh, that says to me that's a lot better than the rainbow rainbow spinner you need to go and I guess this is a little bit rainbow spinner paradise because it's all trout everywhere so that's it so uh, what I did too was I did like a combination I went with the casting rod and I went with the spinning rod like you can see and in my opinion I didn't saw a lot of difference between the spinning or the casting maybe the casting is a little bit better because uh, it's it's you don't need to throw that far, and I got the impression that for uh, for not throwing far, it's better to go for a casting one. But I didn't saw a lot of difference. It's just a fishing style. It's it's 
you feel more connect with your fishing in my opinion if you use a casting rod with a casting reel okay i'm using the 0 0.25 mono because i i tried to use the 0 0.2 mono uh line and that was a little bit tricky i needed to get my drag to one and then even then the trout was sometimes almost breaking my line on my tension meter so I'm using the 0 0.25, I'm using the Chester 210 and the Low Dex 1000S. So that's the setup for my casting. Uh, let's go to the setup for my spinning. The Elemental 260, the Rod, the Wingcast 2500 reel. And here I'm using the 0 0.12 match, match fin. It's a really good line, but you need to pay it of course with coins, like everything in this game. Coins are a little bit better if you spend them. That was it a little bit for, I think, uh, the equipment, uh, the fishes I took, the lures I used. Now I'm going to show you guys how you need to fish on the rainbow trout. So, there isn't a different difference between the normal rainbow trout and the trophy rainbow trout. You just need to have a little bit more of luck. But if you... Uh, do what I just said, don't get your line too thick, fish at the bottom, be patient, you need to be patient with the trout, it's not like a pike or a bass that you just can throw it in and pull on your rod like a maniac and even then you can catch a bass or, or a pike, here you need to be patient and they eat from the bottom so you need to wait a little bit on the bottom. I will show you guys how you need to do it. So first of all, for me the sweet spot was over here. I got the, more, the most catch uh, over that spot. I tried a little bit here, I tried a little bit here, but it didn't work. On this side, I didn't catch one fish. So I guess they, there is a sweet spot for the rainbow trout. Be sure, if you reel in, like 7 to 8 meters out of the shore, there is a, a really hard snag point. I, I lost three or four tackles on it. So if you are on eight, just put your reel on four, get your tackle back in, otherwise you're going to break a lot of lines. Take it from me, I had it too. So uh, what you need to do is, because you need to be patient, so your, your reel speed, number one, is more than enough. So if you go two or three, your, your lure is going to make too much action and a trout doesn't like that. I'm going for the drag at two. So, and let's throw in. So you just throw in like this. It's going to be, I think, around 30 meters. That's the best uh, best spot. And I'm a little bit too much to the left, but that's not a problem. So what you do now is you just let the spinner go to the bottom. You wait a little bit. And then you start, you just reel in like this and you wait again. And sometimes you can do a little strike out in between to just let it play a little bit. You see that my, my spinner is bouncing off the bottom. If the bouncing stops, it's time to reel in a little bit more. So you do it like this, stop, stops, you do it like this. You stop, bounce, 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 you go again, like this. And here we go. Yeah, that's uh, really lucky. So you see that uh, that it works really well. Look that fish going. I it seems he's on drugs or something. And here we go. The rainbow trout, a very beautiful fish in my opinion. And uh, yeah, I'm happy that I catch a fish uh, in the movie. It's always good. So this is the fish. Really good experience. Uh, the trophies give 80 experience. And uh, yeah, it's a good experience for them. There is not a lot you need to do because it's not a, s a really strong fish. It's like uh, yeah, dinner time for me. So thanks for watching guys and see you later. Bye bye.